Hey guys, so I'm here today with a quick video that I wanted to share with you guys. I am in my bathroom and I'm talking directly to the camera. So you're gonna be able to tell that I'm in my bathroom filming. Um, as you guys know, I've had my hair in wearable twists and this is a little over three weeks old. And um, I wanted to tell you guys quickly like what I did and uh, I'm going to be taking them down and I want to show you guys what I do after I take them down. Okay, so um, when I did my twists last month, um, it did take four hours from washing to detangling to um, doing each twist individually and I just let them air dry. I don't use heat. I never use heat. Um, anytime you see any hairstyle that I've done, it's always on wet hair and then I just let it air dry. So my hair, um, this is how my hair looks just with the conditioner that I used, Sleek and Shine. And I used the Blueberry Bliss um, Gel. This is the Curl Control Jelly. A lot of people use this for wash and goes. It doesn't work very well for me with wash and goes even when I use other products. But for some odd reason, it works amazingly for twist outs and braid outs. So that's what I used. And I finished it off with a little bit of styling oil. And this is the Coco Conscious Collective. And um, you guys can get all the information you need on my staple hair products, which is a video that I just uploaded like maybe a week ago. So I'm not gonna really be going into that right now. Um, other than that, I don't have anything else in my hair. I have not put anything else in my hair in the last three weeks. My hair is still really moisturized. The only reason why I'm taking it out is because it is getting fuzzy. My hair tends to get fuzzy um, really easily. And when it starts getting fuzzy, like right here, I don't want to leave you know it in too long because my hair tends to break off right here where it gets fuzzy. Um, so that's my main reason for taking the twists out. Um, I did reapply a little gel one time to a few of them that got fuzzy in the front just so that I can just have like a clean look for when I went on vacation. But other than that, I'm going to be taking the twists down. And since my hair is fairly long, I actually didn't twist all the way down when I did the twists. I just twirled the ends because I knew that it would be hard for me to get the twists out if I twisted all the way down. So they literally stayed in on their own without me having to twist all the way down to the very end of the hair for the last three weeks. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to wear my hair in this twist out probably for another week or maybe nine days and I'm going to apply some oil to it just so that it could be shiny and then I'm going to put a little gel on the front so that it looks uniform. Um, my hair in general does not really flake up when I do these hairstyles that last over 30 days. I don't use a lot of products. I'm not very heavy handed with products because it tends to make my scalp really irritated when I put things directly on my scalp. So I always um, tell anyone that asks, the main reason why I can stretch these styles for so long is just because there really isn't very much on my scalp and on my hair itself to start with. Just the bare necessities. So I'm taking these out very delicately to make sure that these ends don't tangle on each other. And um, I've already done the back. So this is how the back looks already untwisted and I will be back and show you guys how the front looks, how it all looks whenever I untwist it. I'll also get you guys a close up so you can see how this looks. So it goes by fairly quickly when you start untwisting it. It certainly doesn't take, you know, four hours. It takes about 45 minutes, but this right here is all untwisted now. And I'll show you guys how to do up close. Okay, so this is the definition up close for each one of the twists that I took out. And for me, I would say these are mini twists. I'm 
not going to make them any smaller than what they are um, at this point. But that's pretty much how it looks. And I'm not going to separate this right now because I want it to last like eight more days. So I'm just going to wear it like this and I'll let it get fluffier on its own. And then probably next week or midweek, I might go through and do my method of how I untwist my hair and make this fluffier. But for right now, I'm just gonna leave it like this because I wanna look at, I want the definition to show. Okay guys, so this is how it looks now that I've taken all of them out. I'm just going to feel through here, make sure I didn't miss any. I think I got them all. And um, I can, you can see right here, the only place that I had a little bit of product buildup is right there. That's actually where I had the bobby pin in my hair. I usually put a bobby pin right there. So sometimes a little bit of gel gets stuck in there. And um, what I can do is I can just dab a little shampoo on there and just wet it and then rinse that out um, and it won't affect the rest of this. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put some oil in it. And I'm just going to go like that. Like I said, my scalp does not need any oil on it. I do not apply oil to my scalp ever. Um, I usually just apply it to the hair. And um, I know I'm going to get this question, nighttime routine is the same for all of my hairstyles. I have a million silk scarves, sometimes I use them, sometimes I don't. Um, because of the amount of hair that I have, sometimes they slide off and sometimes I wake up with headaches because they're too tight, like I just have too much hair. So I actually prefer not to sleep with anything on. And usually, I will just um, put my scarf across my pillow and then just go to sleep. Um, the only time that I made pineapple is when my hair is stretched like this. Otherwise, I can't pineapple it um, in a wash and go or anything like that. But, you know, I might just do something simple like this. Or I might just go like this and just go to bed. So um, that is the only thing that I'm going to do for my night routine. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put some gel on the front to get rid of the fuzzies that I have. I have to put my glasses on because I cannot see. Okay. So this will be, this will most likely be fuzzy again by, um, Wednesday and I'll have to redo it but this is uh, where I naturally part my hair so this used to be a slip down and I'm just gonna see if this little dot of buildup disappears with a little slickness and if not like I said I'll just put some shampoo on it later and I'm gonna put this clip in here for right now until that dries and although this side you can't really see, I'm going to slick it anyway because I might want to wear my hair back. So I want that to be already slicked. twist left to take out but 
This is um, pretty much all I do. How I transition from the wearable twists to a stretched twist out, still a protective style, and I will be probably fin not finishing the summer because we still have like a month and 19 days, but it'll probably be almost September when I finally wash my hair. And um, if you guys have any questions, any other questions that I didn't already answer, just leave me a comment and I will be back to talk to you guys later. I hope you guys have a great weekend.